We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of the servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Open up your Bibles to Exodus chapter 20. We will read verse 12. Exodus 20, 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Let us also read Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 25. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. 25. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Just bow down your head as you pray. Holy Spirit, we invite your presence to come and speak to our hearts today. Nobody can really address the heart of man except the creator, the designer, in whose hands are the hearts of kings. Lord, speak to us in the language that we can understand in jesus name we pray today the father's day the topic before us according to the lectionary is the family society's building block the family society's building block we are going to consider the smallest unit of the society. The society is made up of different families. When God created the world, he had in his own plans to put people everywhere, but he did not create families. What he created was just a family, a man and a woman. He did not create children for them immediately. He told them, he said, you have the opportunity and the right to reproduce and do what? Fill the whole earth. And then for man to continue to exist and also co coexist on earth with one another in order to relate well, God also sent to us the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20 verses 1 to 17 so that man will be able to function well in the society that God places man and as at when God handed a help me to the man the very day God created somebody for the man the man receives somebody like himself who would assist him and at that very moment the person God gave to the man was already a woman the Bible says and God made man to sleep took one of the ribs of man and with that rib he did what he created the woman God did not give the man a girl but that very day of creation the person God handed over to the man was already a woman. And also, the person God created that very day to carry out the responsibility of forming a society, building a society through reproduction and leadership, that person was already a man and not a woman that same day of creation. When we give birth to children, we give birth to them as infants. Even when Jesus came, he came as infants. But the first man and the first woman that existed on earth were already matured people. 
Because God knew that he was placing into their hands big roles. Roles. Especially the woman. And if you look at our societies today, once a girl gets married, you address her as a housewife, not a house girl. Even by age, she may still be a girl, but once she is pronounced a wife, she is seen as a wife and not a girl. Praise the Lord. In building a society, there are rules that we must follow. That is why God had to give to us the Ten Commandments. The family is the smallest unit of the society. Without family, there will be no society, there will be no nation, and the earth will become void. In a society, God just needs to raise families. But the quality of every society depends on the quality of the families the society is made up. So if a society is to be seen as that of high standard, it means that the families existing in that society have good standards. If a church must progress, if a society must progress, then there must be good families in that society and in that church. Today that we celebrate the fathers in the house, it is a time we have to reflect on our individual families first and also the society as a whole. If you want to be the house, the house that can stand the test of time, we must make sure that we use quality materials to build the house. We hear of buildings collapsing. One of the reasons is that substandard materials. The problems we have in the society today is because the devil has succeeded in attacking families. Because if he attacks families, he will then have access to the larger society as a whole. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, that we read, that children obey your parents, that you may live long, in the land that the Lord your God has done what? So for, for a society to have a good lifespan, a good age expect, uh, 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 age what's it called? Age expect, uh, life expectancy. It means that the children must obey their parents. In Nigeria, the average life expectancy is about 50 to 60. We have countries where you have up to 70. Nigeria, you see people just dying. And if you go to other parts of the world, it's like that too. But our own is more. But we are not the worst. Praise the Lord for that. So, God said, for human to remain, the first law, if you look at the Ten Commandments, you have your duties, the first four, your duties before God. And then, the remaining six, your duty to your fellow man. The first one is that of obedience. That children must be obedient to their parents. Let us look at the structure of the nuclear, nuclear family. The husband, according to the scripture, is the head of what? Of the home, of the family. The woman is a helpmeet to the man. God created the woman so that the woman can 
support the man. Not to reproduce first. Because when God looked, he discovered that the other ones, they had their own mates. The animals God created, they had mates. But the man was what? Was alone. And God decided to create a help meet for the man. So it is support first. Accompany. Before you talk about children. But unfortunately today, when children are not forthcoming, the love in, the, in many homes will begin to dry up. And we have seen men who will give their wives number of years the woman must stay. If the woman does not reproduce at all, then the woman has to go back to where she came from. Forgetting that, after the bodily, after the blessing of the marriage and bodily union on that wedding day, both persons become what? One flesh. So by asking the woman to leave, you are telling God, God that God, I don't need a help meet. What you gave to me is wrong. I don't need any. And Jesus said, if any man will divorce his wife, let that man remain unmarried. And any man that marries a divorced wife, that man commits adultery. But today we have men who will wash and put fire in the home. So that as the woman is jumping out, like goalkeepers, they are ready to catch the woman. And we also have women who will go and spoil the heart of their friends. Your husband is bad. Come out. I will show you better ways. What is bad now? You are already there. When the woman is not yet out. And once the woman jumps out, the woman will, the friend will jump inside. May God have mercy upon us. Then children are seeds produced by the couple. So this one lies with God. The one of children lies with who? With God. God is the giver of children. Though sometimes we make our own mistakes. But in a situation whereby you have only male or have only female, thank God you even have. There are people that are looking for children. I believe there is no man in this house who will give birth to somebody like uh, Okoje Iwela and will be angry. But we have seen men who will pack their wives out of the home. Because the children are only what? Only girls. That I don't have anybody to carry on my name. But we still have other men who give birth to boys, 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 boys. And the boys are giving trouble and they are begging God, if possible, to turn some to girls. So anyone you see, in fact, who is even, if there is anything like the cause, who determines the sex of the baby? Is it the man or the woman? So, they only give it to you what you kept there. It is what you put there that they are returning back to you. You put something in the bank, they are bringing it out with interest. And you are angry. Why? <laughs> and the Bible says, Praise the Lord. If you have one, if you have one, please rejoice and be happy. If you have one at all, do what? Rejoice and be happy. And God said, the husband first should love the wife. And the wife should do what? Submit to the husband. And the children to do what? To obey the parents. Today, the devil is attacking families. The devil is attacking the society. He is not appearing before the larger society has started throwing bombs. But he is going into families and poisoning the hearts of the husband against the woman, against the, the woman, the hearts of the woman, against the man, the hearts of the children, against their parents. So for us to solve this challenge, we have in the society, we have to look inward inside the family. If a building is collapsing, 
Where do you pay attention to? Is it not the foundation? If the head is sick, the whole body will become sick. There are two major things I want to point out. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 15 says, Foolishness is in the heart, is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. For the society of tomorrow to be good and better than what we have today, discipline has to begin at home. And discipline is a thing of the father and the mother cooperating together. Not when the father is talking and the mother before the presence of the children is saying, don't kill my children for me. We know you carry these children in your womb. We know you pass through labor. But if you do not correct these children, they will still bring shame to you. And you will regret the day you give birth to the children. There is no need to bring in political parties of APC and PDP into the home when it comes to the issue of discipline. Nobody should show fine face. As a matter of fact, me, I love my mother for one thing because she disciplined me. She beat hell out of me. Until I had to complain that, Mama, you are beating me more than the rest too. She told me, these people, they have outgrown my beating. If I slap them, my hand will pay me. But you that is still young now, I will make sure you do not outgrow me without buying my discipline. But today, I love her for that. Because what she put inside of me makes me not to run into troubles anyhow. So whenever I see the virtues she put inside of me, I appreciate her for what she did. Human abuse is not spanking a child. It's not flogging a child. It is you, the worst level of human abuse is raising children without discipline. And when they grow up, they will look so cute and so beautiful. But when you look at their character, you will see them as devils. And that is what we have in the society today. Let us try to bring up our children in the fear of the Lord. The problem America is having today, the problem America is having is not because they don't have the good things in the world, but it's because the type of human rights they are preaching to their children, their government is supporting, is satanic and devilish. You can't be in my house, I give you food, pay your school fees, and you say I cannot talk to you. You will leave my house. You cannot, I can't see you with somebody and see you with ring. You are married. I took care of you. You can get married in the court and change my name and I'm not aware. You don't try that. So long as you eat my food, you sleep in my house, so long as I breastfeed you as a mother, you have to abide by the rules. So long as they are godly. Praise the Lord. In 1642, 1642, it was a compulsory law passed in one of the states, Massachusetts, and the law says that every children must know how to read and write because they want everybody to know how to read the Bible. And then America was still America. Then in 1965, the Supreme Court rules that a child may not pray silently to himself if nobody knows he is praying and his lips must not move in the class. They remove prayer, they may remove reading of the Bible from public schools. The schools that the founding father set up so that every child will know how to read copies. In fact, it was a law and they brought Bibles to schools. Today, you see people who can just wake up and start shooting anyhow because they were brought up without the loss of God. During baptismal class, we see children who come to church. You ask them, where is your Bible? They tell you, I don't have. We are raising children, many of whom 
do not know God. And by the time our time of harvest will come, we discover that everything we put in there is without Christ. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. May we fathers know how to handle our wives. Know how to handle our children. The Bible says, likewise, in 1 Peter 3, 7, likewise, in husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Live with your wife according to knowledge. Don't use the same strength you use in carrying heavy irons, carrying bag of smith to handle your wife in the house. The Bible says she is a weaker vessel. Praise the Lord. And also the woman too. He is your Lord. When you call him my Lord, he will tell you I am your Lord. And gives to you the blessing that Christ gives to the church. But when you call him a madman, he will tell you, you call me a madman, repeat it again, you say you are mad. Then the man will tell you, let me show you and also put a mark on you that I am a madman. Whenever anybody sees this mark, tell the person it is a madman you marry as a husband that gives you this mark. And because of this, you have troubles everywhere. Let us look inward. Remove every bitterness from our hearts so that the reign of Christ can be in our families. Rise up and let us pray. <laughs> Father, we we'll thank you. When the devil attacks our families, may we always remember you. May we remember your loss. Help us to build strong Christian homes where Christ is the head, where Christ is everything. Wherever our children go to, wherever they go to represent us, may they bring good names to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, the responsibility is enormous. Raising children, raising a family, Taking care and maintaining a family is enormous. But when your grace descends upon a man, he will be able to fulfill all according to your will. Thank you, Father. Heal our homes today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at hosannadavid at ymail.com or info at egoeyeopener.com. God bless you.